everybody and welcome to vlogmas day number nine. Oh my goodness today is going to be our babe ninth <laughs> today is going to be our festive decor home tour so we are going to be giving you a tour of our home show you all of our decorations and you guys usually see it in the vlogs but this is going to be a full-on festive homey video i would describe our home as just one of those warm christmasy homes Nothing elegant, nothing too fancy, just very homey and Christmassy. But before we get on to the home tour, we do have to do our Advent Vlogmas Day 9. I struggled with this <laughs> riddle. <laughs> By the way, it is dark. We waited till the evening to film this video so everything would look warm and cozy in the house. Head over to the spot I begin my mornings. Look for the owl within the bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. Oh, look at little Lexi playing with her toy under the Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, let's follow Larry. Okay, where are you headed, babe? I'm heading over to your coffee maker. And I'm turning this on. <laughs> I see the owl. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be in there. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? Tell them, show them. It is the Ghirardelli Chocolate Square Dark Chocolate Peppermint Bark. Peppermint Bark, do you get it? Because it's an owl within the bark. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> you like it. Good job, Mink. Yes, I love these. Thanks, I tried. This is good stuff. All right. Immediately above the door, we have Home is Where the Heart Is, which is a Grinch quote or theme, and this was found at Hobby Lobby last year. Next to the front door, we have an owl with a Santa hat, and we also have a little toy Santa. Where is this from, hun? That is old. This is very old. It's one of Larry's antique toys. Now, our coffee table is one of my absolute favorite spots, and a lot of you keep saying, you need a tree skirt, and here's the tree skirt. <laughs> we used it as a blanket of snow for our Christmas village. These village pieces are all from the Bradford Exchange. They are all Harry Potter inspired pieces. My mom very kindly got these for me over the last year or so. Right in the middle, I put the Honeydukes jar, and inside is the White Peppermint Hershey Kisses. And then there's two snow globes back here which have nothing to do with Harry Potter, we just thought they looked nice. Moving over to our fireplaces, which is one of my favorite spots. It's always so cozy. And the fireplace is not always lit. Most of the time it's just lit for 
ambiance, but there's not always heat coming out of it, is what I mean. On either side of the fireplace display, we have two snowmen, which are both from Walgreens. Above the fireplace display, we have stockings. The one in the middle is for Lexi Kitty. And then over here, the Twisted Peppermint Candle from Bath and Body Works. This is one of Larry's antique Santa Clauses. And then we have a Nutcracker, which is from Hobby Lobby. And then this garland, which runs all the way through the fireplace, is also from Hobby Lobby. And then Larry loves colored lights and because I put white lights on the tree, I did run a few colored lights through here just to give it a pop of color. These polar bear, owl, and penguin that are very like arctic snowy are also from Hobby Lobby and I think a few of these pieces are as well. And I believe these are also from Hobby Lobby. And so is this big Santa Claus checking his list. He's from Hobby Lobby as well. And then Larry has a little piece here. Where's that from, babe? I don't know where it's from. It's old, but it's not an antique. Very pretty. So here is a step back at the fireplace. In case you're wondering what's on the TV, I have <laughs> Hogsmeade with snow on the TV right now. Hi, little one. Next, we have Lexi Kitty and our Christmas tree. We went with a white, very simple theme this year. I'll show a few of our favorite ornaments. Larry will show you some as well. And go ahead, babe. This was the Santa that was by the door. He's got a little lantern that lights Oh, that's cute. I love that. And then our tree. So we went with very simple style this year. There's a few owls in the tree. It's all very gold, bronze, and silver themed. This is one of our favorite ornaments. Both Larry and I love this one. It's a glass ornament with a fox inside. And there's two cardinals sitting on branches. Pine cones. This pine cone we got at Rockefeller Plaza for the 2019 Christmas tree. Larry actually asked a very nice lady and she handed it to us and that's how we got that. With this tree, where it's at with regards to where the outlet is in the wall, it's kind of difficult to get back around and behind the tree. So for not a whole lot of money, like under five bucks, you can get an extension cord that's got a light up button on it. And all you have to do is hit it with your toe and you can turn it on or off. I and love it that. makes life a lot easier. It is very simple. Yeah. It's nice. And then this is our next little table area. Over here we have two cardinals that are sitting together in a lantern. This is a Harry Potter music box, which isn't exactly Christmas related, but I leave it there. These are little seeds from our Rockefeller 2019 Christmas tree pine cone that's in our tree. We're gonna try and plant them in our yard. Probably not gonna work, but. And then we have our advent calendar, which is from Target, and this Gryffindor snowman, which is from the Wizarding World. On our couch, we just have three cushions. These, I'm not sure where they're all from, but they're very like just red and white themed. Oh, that blanket right there on the couch where I sit is from my best friend Angela. She made that for me last Christmas. This little kitty on the tree is supposed to resemble Lexi. What's he doing? Are you playing? This back table behind the couch, we just have a little mini tree. Everything on this tree is from Hobby Lobby. And this reindeer with Santa's sleigh is Hobby Lobby. And then there's just a picture of Larry and I the first time we went to Universal together. This Jack Skellington, which I believe is from Walgreens, right babe? Yes. And then our wedding photo. And then this beautiful nutcracker, which is from Hobby Lobby. And then another candle from Bath and Body Works. This is the peppermint marshmallow and a picture of our little Lexi. It looks like an oversized pocket watch. And when you open it. Where is it from? Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. 
so pretty. <gasps> On these shelves we have a Russian nesting doll with uh, Santa and a snowman and there's some other figures inside. So he sits up here. We've got a real nice lantern with a wolf and an owl. These three porcelain figures are antiques. There's one of a Christmas tree, one of Santa, and one of a snow person. This Santa opens up and there's a little village with some reindeer and Santa. Cute. So he goes up here. This Santa here is actually like an old Viewmaster viewer. You, um, you look in his eye and you push this little switch on the bottom and there's a disc inside that spins different pictures so you can see uh, a story that it's telling inside. This is pretty old. I'm not sure what what year it's from, but it's it's been around a while. So he goes over here, and this little guy is my favorite Christmas ornament of all time. He is cute. I have never seen one anywhere else. I've looked for him and still haven't found him. But I think he's a little corgi with some candy cane antlers on, and I just love this little guy. Moving into my favorite spot every morning, I come to my coffee maker. I have it lit with white snowflake fairy lights. And I have a little plant and I just shove this little guy in here. Wrapped him with the fairy lights. I have all my coffees here. My Harry Potter a day at a time calendar. One of my favorite mugs, which is from Cracker Barrel. And then I have another Bath and Body Works evergreen candle going. And then this sign, Baby It's Cold Outside, Warm Up Here, is from Hobby Lobby as well. He also put in a pencil Christmas tree in the kitchen, which also needs a tree skirt, but that's okay. We have this Christmas kitty up here, which my mom found at a yard sale or an estate sale here in Florida, which has a little Santa hat. And we have a Noel. It was a candle holder, but Larry took off the candle bit for me and we just have him as an owl now. We have this Merry Christmas North Pole towel. Over here we have a gingerbread towel. I believe those are both from Kohl's. We then have a little train. Babe, do you know where this train is from? I believe Hobby Lobby. So this Santa's very old. I got that when I was very little. And then this is a old Christmas ornament, the elf. He's pretty old too. He's cute too. And we have a centerpiece, which is some basic candles on it, and another Bath and Body Works candle, which is Vanilla Bean Noel. Okay, right above Larry's limo collection, we have an owl. It's a beanie or a Thai beanie baby Christmas owl. And then above our big sliding glass doors, we have Santa on his sleigh, and he is taking off with his reindeer and Rudolph to go deliver gifts. <laughs> oh, our bathroom. I forgot to show you guys the guest bathroom. Okay, in the guest bathroom, we have these red noodle rugs. In the bathroom sink, I have another one of those gingerbread towels from Kohl's, a winter candy apple candle from Bath and Body Works, which smells so incredible in here, a winter cypress gentle foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works, and then a gilded pine potpourri thing that no longer smells because it's a few years old from Hobby Lobby. These little snowy owls are from Bath and Body Works. And then my favorite part is all of my Christmas festive Lush bombs, which were kindly gifted by Lush, so thank you so much. Lush, and then I also have a snowflake basket to hold all my bath bombs in the bathroom. That is everything for Vlogmas Day 9. We hope you guys enjoyed our home tour. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Bye. Ooh. You know Ooh. what? Wait. If you guys want us to do a Q&A during Vlogmas, let us know, because I've had a few requests, but let us know in the comments below if you would like us to do a Q&A as part of Vlogmas. Okay, now we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye.